we're going to look at the following example. A total of 803 adults were asked whether they prefer to drink coffee, tea or neither. And in this table, we have their responses recorded, as well as the regions of the country where these people live. Now, uh, we're going to choose special notation, and N is going to stand for a person who lives in the northeast, W is going to stand for a person who lives in the west, and C stands for a person who uh, prefers coffee. Now, let's assume that a person is randomly selected from this group of adults, from 803 adults. Let's try to find the following probability. So here's the notation, P of N or W. So that means that if we randomly select a person from 803 adults, what's the probability that that person is from either northeast or west? So every time you see OR within the probability event, you would want to use the formula. Use formula. Now, what formula is that? Well, it's going to be addition rule. Well, there are two formulas for addition rule. We have addition rule for independent events and we have general addition rule. So what we're going to do for these two questions, we're going to apply a general addition rule. First, for the practice sake, and then second, well, it's actually safe to use that rule for any example where we have OR, because general addition rule applies to all kind of events, whether they mutually disjoint events or not. So let me remind you how the general addition rule goes. So you have to find probability of the first event, so it's P of N, add probability of the second event, P of W, and subtract probability of N and W. So, let's try that. First, we're going to focus on finding probability for N, well, which means that probability that the randomly selected person is from the northeast. Well, we're going to set up the probability fraction, in the denominator of this fraction, we're going to write the total number of all possible outcomes. So in this case, we're going to write down the total number of people that were questioned, and that is 803. And then in the numerator, we're going to write down the number of desired outcomes. Well, this time we're calculating probability that uh, the randomly selected person is from the northeast, so that's our desired outcome. In other words, what is the number of people from the northeast? Based on the table, the number of people from the northeast is down here, total for the northeast, 152. So this fraction will let us calculate probability, the first probability. Plus, now we have to calculate probability that the randomly selected person is from the west. Well, it's going to be a similar idea, right? Denominator is 800. Um, and three, the total number of all possible outcomes, and numerator is the number of desired outcomes. This time it's um, the number of people from the west. And according to the table, the total number of people from the west is 155. And now we have to subtract probability that a randomly selected person is from the northeast and from the west. Well, I will continue in this matter and I'll say, well, let's set up the fraction. Denominator is still 803, but what's going to be the numerator, the number of desired outcomes? Once again, here in this case, what that end means is that I need to find how many people among the ones that were questioned are from the northeast and, and the west at the same time. So remember this word and, and um, I like to think about it as also maybe like rephrase it as both, so how many people I have from both northeast and west, or I can also say at the same time. These are the keywords that help me to um, understand what exactly I'm looking for, at the same time. So do I have anyone who lives in the northeast and the west at the same time? Well, no, right, because 
person is either from the northeast or from the west or from another region. But I don't have any people that live at the same, uh, that live um, at two different places at the same time. So in this case, it's going to be zero. Well, it's zero also because those two events are mutually disjoint. If someone lives in the northeast, that person can't live in the west and vice versa, right? So they're mutually disjoint. So technically, I went up here with with addition rule for mutually disjoint events, where the last part equals zero and it does not really um, affect the result. But if we continue here and add those fractions together, so it's 152 plus 155 minus zero, so it's 307, and the denominator stays, it's 803. And now if I want to change it to a decimal, then I just have to simply um, divide 307 by 803. And if we divide and round to three decimal places, the decimal will be 0.382. So that's decimal. Fraction form, decimal form, and also we can write this down using percentage, right? So that's approximately 38.2%. Well, and that's the chance of that event happening. So what's the chance that the randomly selected person is from the northeast or from the west? Well, chance of that is 38.2%. Now, let's try it again, but with a different, with a different example. So a different question. This time we have to find the following probability. P of N or C. Okay, remember N stands for the northeast and C stands for a person who prefers coffee. It's um, denoted here. In other words, I can rephrase or I can expand on this notation and say that its meaning is the following. Find probability that a ran uh, randomly selected person from the 803 adults either lives in the northeast or prefers coffee. One more time, if you see or, you want to use the formula. Use formula. And what I call formula is the general addition rule. So in other words, we're going to expand this notation um, with the formula. So that equals the following. We have to find probability of the first event, which is n, plus probability of the second event, and then minus probability of n and c. It's a probability that those two events happen at the same time, right? Let's do one at a time. So first probability p of n, right? Probability of a randomly selected person that lives in the northeast. Well, we already found that fraction, it's over here, right? We had to do it for the previous um, example, previous part. 152 over 803. Okay. Now, second. Here we have to find probability P of C. So what's the chance that a randomly selected person prefers coffee? Here's the fraction. Denominator is still the same, 803. We're choosing from all those adults. What's the numerator? Well, it's the, that's the number of the desired outcomes. Our desired outcome this time is person prefers coffee. In other words, I have to find how many people prefer coffee from, from, uh, from the 803 adults. Well, I'll find it using the table. Coffee is here. What is the total for coffee? Total for coffee is 461. And notice when I'm doing that, um, I'm not paying attention to anything else. Else, I'm not paying attention to the Northeast or anything else. I'm only focusing on um, for those two probabilities at the, at the beginning. I'm only focusing on one event at a time. I'm only f uh, focusing on coffee this time. So here's coffee and the total for the coffee, or in other words, the number, the whole number of people that prefer coffee is 461. 461 minus. And now I have the subtract probability of randomly selected person that lives in the northeast and prefers coffee. Denominator is still, is still at 103, but what is the numerator? 
the number of desired outcomes here will correspond to the number of people that live in the northeast. Um, I should say that both live in the northeast and prefer coffee. And both events happening at the same time. So what is the number of people from this table that both live in the northeast and prefer coffee at the same time? Well, I have to focus now on both northeast and coffee here with this, this within this table. So this column, the first column, tells me numbers for people living in the northeast, right? This first row show, um, shows me the numbers for people preferring coffee. But what number describes people preferring coffee and living in the northeast at the same time? Well, here's that number over here. 101. So that number, I'm going to move it up and make a note. So that's number of people from the northeast who prefer coffee. Okay, so that's going to be the numerator of this last fraction. And now to calculate that, I will have to add all the numerators. We'll add and subtract in this case. 152 plus 461 minus 101 divided by A03. That's 512 divided by 803. If, if I convert this to a decimal, that's going to be point um, that has three decimal places. That's 0.638, approximately 0.638. And that is same as approximately 63.8% chance. So the chance that a randomly selected person from 803 adults is from the northeast or prefers coffee is 63.8%, or about 64%.